everyone, it's Bren with Addicted to Cricket. I am doing a video today for Teresa who emailed me and asked me to do a quick video on how to do um, letters that are split like this so you can make something like this. And it just so happens that I just made this today. I used um, my J that I had already bought. Um, from when I was way new and didn't want to do it. But let me show you how, how to do it all on your own. You don't have to buy it. First, let's get the letter J. Now I have chosen this font and it's called Bodini XT, okay? And it's, it's near there. It's kind of like that one. Now, let's say we want to put some flowers or something behind it like this. Now, I couldn't find anything exactly like that, but I did find these. I'm going to upload those. And actually, I just found that over at Google. And I just put in, uh, let's get back up here, flowers clip art and clicked black and white. That's all I did. Okay. So, let's put these in here. And I think I want two, so I'm going to come way over here and see the duplicate button. I'm going to duplicate this. Now I have two, but I want to flip this one. So see right here where it says flip? Flip horizontally. So I'm going to put this one here, and I'm going to see if I can find a nice place that this one will look. Okay. I think I like that. Okay, so we have our design. Now here comes the most important part about splitting or using the slicing tool. Everything that you're going to slice has to be, you can only have two things and both things have to be one piece. So right now we have three pieces. So we can't split this. If we highlight this and say split or slice, it's not even highlighted for us to do. So what we have to do is we're going to highlight this and we're going to hit weld. And that's going to make it all one piece, okay? Now I'm going to pull up a shape. I'm going to grab a square. I'm going to unlock the square right here. See that button? Okay. And I'm going to pull the square to the shape that I want for my slice to be. You see that? I think I want it to be right there. Okay. And you want to make sure and give yourself enough room. Okay. Now this one has the blue line around it already. I call that highlighted. I don't really know what that's called, but that's what I call. So while that is highlighted, on your keyboard, hit shift. Like if you were going to make a capital letter, hit shift, hold it down, and then click the other half of the design. Now it has made an outline of all of it, so it's all highlighted. Now look down here, my slice button is highlighted so I can actually use it. Most of the time it's like a dull gray and you can't use it. So let's hit slice. Okay, it's done. Now a slice always cuts three pieces. I don't know why. One, two, three. We don't need any of them. Okay, you can delete all of those. And here it is. Now to get these nice lines like this, easy. Go back over here to shapes, get another square unlock it, and let's make it thin and long the way we want it. Whoops, come back up here. Okay, we're going to make it just like that, and I probably would make it a little bit longer. Okay, just like that, and I'm going to duplicate that because I need one more for the bottom. Okay, and I want to make sure I'm lined up right. Okay, look good. Now I'm going to highlight all of that and I'm going to weld it together because I want this to be one piece. Now you can unlock that and you can make it longer or narrower or however you want, but it's all going to be one piece. Now all you have to do is hit the text and put the people's names in there. And if you want it on the bottom, do the same and that's it. That's how easy that is guys. You can do this. Thanks Teresa for emailing me this question. Great question. If I can do any more, let me know. Have a great day.